Hello ladies, gents and weeps. Recently, thanks to video, got a really good improvement over the open source predecessors. There's a new model that got recently very popular, which is called Xeroscope. Xeroscope is a new text video model made by the original authors that made step the stable diffusion text video extension. Xeroscope is a fine-tuned version of the original monoscope that got improved drastically. It got trained on um, on high resolution videos, hundreds of almost 600 by 300 pixels. And it got trained at almost 10,000 clips, framed at 24 frames, with almost 30,000 tagged frames, at 24 frames per second, on 60 by 9 ratio. So how do we install this in our local machine? And also, at the end, there's also a bonus in which I included a way to access this site without stable diffusion. So let's begin. Well, this tutorial is gonna be a little bit different because um, I don't have my computer with me right now, which has the GPU. So I went to a creative solution in which I rented a computer for seven cents per hour on paper space. So this tutorial is gonna be a little bit different, but I'm gonna try to make my best as possible to uh, explain you how to install this new model. So first thing that you have to do is to open your stable diffusion. Wait, let me let me go to stable diffusion, um, which is gonna be this one. So I install stable diffusion in this machine and I downloaded and installed the realistic vision v3.0 model which I can which I found it on Civitai. Since I don't have the text to video extension I'm gonna install it right now. So I'm gonna go to extensions, I'm gonna go to available, I'm gonna click on load from and I'm gonna try to find the text to video. So to skip the scrolling, I'm just gonna type text. So I'm just gonna scroll until I find text to video. Switch it gonna be this one, text to video. So I'm gonna click install. When you're gonna see these grayed out interfaces, means that the extension it's gonna be installing so we should wait and done now I'm gonna refresh the URL so I'm gonna go to install and we are gonna click on apply and restart UI right now we have our text to video extensions live and what we need is only the new Xeroscope model so what you guys need to do is to go to this Hugging Face pa uh, page in which I'm gonna provide down into the description and what you need to download is from inside this ZS2576W you need to download these two files but uh, these two files uh, will not be enough to run the Xeroscope model so we need the files from the original Xeroscope model, model if you don't have it ready I recommend you to go to model scope in this one not files and versions and download all the files except for the text to video pytorch model and 
to open clip PyTorch model because these two files, as you saw earlier, were in the Xeroscope model. So what we are gonna do is to download the uh, VQGAN auto encoder and the configuration.json. So we are gonna do this first. I'm gonna download VQGAN encoder, but I downloaded it um, recently. But I'm gonna download it just for this example. I'm gonna click on download in here. As you can see, this one it means that I have it ready. And meanwhile, this is finishing downloading. I'm gonna go again on files and version and download this configuration.json. This is a little bit tricky because you have it doesn't have a download button, so you have to copy everything that you see in here. So I'm gonna drag, click and drag everything until the end. I'm gonna right click, copy, and then um, I'm gonna go to my AI folder where I have my stuff in here. So I'm gonna go to desktop AI. I'm gonna go to my main. Web UI, I'm gonna go. If you don't have the model scope already, if you don't have the, it, if you didn't have installed the model scope model before, so I'm gonna show you how to do a clean example. So you have to go to models. We are gonna create a new folder called model scope. Don't rename the folder Xeroscope, it needs to be Modelscope because Xeroscope is a modified version of Modelscope. Alright, and we are gonna make a new folder in here called TQV, which means text video. So we are gonna create a new text file which is gonna um, be this configuration.json so we are going to enter this document paste and then file save as we need to make sure we are inside the t2v folder and we name the file configuration.json the save as type it needs to be all files be sure to have it named as configuration.json and click save. Alright, so we have our file ready. We can delete the text file because we don't need it anymore. Now we are gonna paste the vqyan autoencoder.pth. I have it downloaded already. This file is extremely it's, it's equal to this, so I'm just gonna copy this instead. I'm gonna go back and paste it in here. I'm gonna paste the two files inside this folder and then close and open stable diffusion once again. And now we are done. Now we are ready to close our stable diffusion and reopen it again. All right, we are in stable diffusion. So before entering the text to video extension, I recommend you to go to settings and go to text to video here. And then uh, we need to click on main model only in keep modeling view run between runs so you won't wait for the model to load every time you do a video and the PA mode should be on GPU hard position. With this in mind you can apply the settings you can reload the UI just to be sure everything is gonna be fine and then launch text to video. Now we are ready to experiment with this model so as an example, but first be sure to build Modelscope and not on Video Crafter because Modelscope has a different algorithm to the Video Crafter because 
gyroscope, as I said again, is a mm, model from Motherscope, so it has the same algorithm. Right. So for the prompt, we are gonna type a sunny scene over the Eiffel Tower. We are gonna leave everything as it is and then click on generate. For the first time you should wait around one minute and a half just to download the necessary things. As you observe first it's gonna load the text video model and then it's gonna try to uh, sample the steps. It should be quick of around 10 or 20 seconds depending on your GPU. Alright, so after it got generated, you need to click on this grey button. And yeah, that's the result. It's not really satisfying, so I'm gonna try to change the, the settings in here, maybe it's gonna be better. So what I'm gonna do is to increase the resolution a little bit, so we are gonna try again. I'm gonna pause this and then resume when everything is gonna be fine. So I'm gonna tell you what settings I use. So from till then, this is gonna be a just a one second cut. Alright guys, so I figured out that the model got trained on 16 by 9 videos, so it only works on 60 by 9 resolutions. So I put the width 576 and the height 320, so it should be a 16 by 9 ratio, and that's the video that I got, which is perfectly, no, not really perfect, because you can see of course it's not a good video, but the important thing is that the watermark got removed compared to model scope. And this model seems to be a, li a little bit coherent compared to the predecessor. So you can see a bit like the reflection and I don't know what's that, maybe the cars at the bottom or birds? I don't really know. So I'm gonna try another example now. I think that's the most coherent result that I got because I tried maybe three to four times. Uh, I know that some of you guys may think that this is a like bad result, but in my opinion, I think this is the best that I got because everything is coherent. Like those lights that are straight, I think those are the streets and those are the buildings, and that thing in the corner that flies. Upwards, I think that's the car that we talked about, and it's at night. But I'm gonna try it now to just remove it and just give it a time change so we can see more clear if the video will work or not. So, see you in one second. Alright, so that's the result. It's only one second clip. So this is our one second clip, which is a futuristic city. Well, it looks like a futuristic city, but at the first all, I thought that it's just some... I thought they were just a piles of melted pages books from my fantasy settings, but this is just the surreal. Like, the model tries to be futuristic by uh, all the edges and curves and... Well, the future is going to be really like this, and I hope that it won't be like this. And now, guys, I'm going to show you one more site in which you can try out this text video model without having stable diffusion installed. And it's about, if you do, type on Google Zeroscope, you're going to enter, wait, you need to scroll at the bottom, and you have to find this replicate space in which you can of course type your prompt for example a dog walking in a park and 
then you can click generate should be at the, at the bottom then click submit then we should wait one minute and a half for the model to load and then for the generation process you can also remove the watermark but in this example i forgot to remove it so we are gonna see it like that keep in mind that um, that needs to be the width the default value it's 1024 pixels and high for 576 so it's gonna take a while all of this is powered by a 40 GB NVIDIA A100 so it's gonna be quite fast so I'm gonna wait one minute and cut in here and see you in a few seconds and as you can see the quality is, is extraordinary it's no way like in my stable diffusion text video extension since the resolution is quite higher the quality is extremely well it's better than the runway uh, text to video model that they have in my opinion because it's free and it's quick and it can be accessible for everyone but I guess that it needs more refining because I can see it is, I said in the prompt that I don't want two docs but only one and the second doc that it's not working or anything it has a tail on its back but overall this is just great alright guys this was my video about text to video about zero scope and I hope you liked it guys so See you soon with...